John Henry Folk was a storyteller and radio show host who in 1941 started doing interviews with former slaves in a project to bring awareness to racism. One former slave he interviewed was Fountain Hughes. Little did Folk realize this interview would be one of his most important. My name is Fountain Hughes. I was born in Charlottesville, Virginia. My grandfather belonged to Thomas Jefferson. My grandfather was 115 years old when he died. And now I am 101 years old. Although many slaves were kidnapped or abducted, Hughes was different. He was born of slaves, as was his father. He didn't know any other life. It was what they call, we were slaves. We belonged to people. They sell us like they sell horses and cows and hogs and all like that, have an auction bench and they put you on a up on the bench and bid on you the same as you're bidding on cattle, you know. The auction bench was an infamous place among slaves. Here, people would learn not only who their future masters would be, but exactly what price a person could put on another person. Sell the women, sell the men. Oh, they'd, and then if they had any bad ones, they'd sell them to the nigger traders, what they call the nigger traders, and they'd ship them down south to sell them down south. After leaving the auction, they would be at the whims of their new masters. Of course, when someone is considered to be a piece of property rather than a person, little is done to make them comfortable. Deplorable living conditions, tattered and worn out clothes, and sometimes a bare minimum of food were all that slaves were given. Some people didn't have no beds when they were slaves. You want to slip on the floor, pat it here and pat it there. Just like a lot of uh, wild people, we didn't. We didn't know nothing. Didn't lie to look in no book. Often, the slaves were only dressed in what they showed up in, made mostly of rag and cloth. The lucky ones may have had a pair of shoes or some denim. So I didn't ever wore no shoes until I was 12 or 13 years old. And now people put on shoes on babies, you know, when they're two years old, when they're month old, I'd be, I don't know, put shoes on babies. Just as soon as you see them out in the street, they got shoes on. Not much attention was given to the slave's diet. More times than not, they would only have things like soups or stews made from the scraps of the master's dinner. 